Hi guys, welcome to the Chef's Backyard. Tonight I'm gonna to show you how to make tortilla soup. We're gonna do it with some chicken. Normally we'll do it in a big pot like this, but for demonstration purposes, I'm gonna do it in this one. That way you can kind of see what's going on. We're gonna use a few ingredients. We've got some oil, we've got some corn tortillas, we've got some garlic, we've got onion, tomato, bell pepper. We're gonna pulse that in our food processor. We've got a bay leaf, I've got some chili powder, some cumin, and some salt. We also have our chicken broth. Uh, I've got another video on how to make the chicken broth, and uh, I'll link it in the card above. All right, so let's go. I've got a pan. We're gonna get it, uh, get our oil nice and toasty in there. Now into this, I'm gonna go ahead and add that garlic, and it's already coming to life. We're gonna add the chili powder and the cumin. And the oil is gonna to help to extract the flavor from those spices. And then we're gonna add our tortillas. And at this point, I'll add some of the onions too. As the onions kind of let off their moisture and start to become translucent, they also add flavor into this. All right, so now into the food processor, we're gonna add our bell pepper, our onion, and our tomato. And we're gonna pulse it up and break it down into uh, kind of small pieces, definitely into like bite-sized pieces for sure. Set that up. We'll give that a pulse. And we'll give this a stir. Now those spices are coating those tortillas and the tortillas are really soaking up that flavor. I've seen recipes where they cook everything, maybe roast all of the vegetables, and then bring it in together in the pan with the chicken broth and then pulse it. Uh, in a restaurant, you'll have a big immersion blender that makes it real easy. It's a little bit harder to do at home. That's how come we're doing the step over here where we're pulsing. All right, I think that's pretty fine where I want it. And then we'll just add that into our starter here. The liquid from those vegetables is gonna help to deglaze the pan and that'll help to pull up the, the bits of uh, spices that were stuck to the to the bottom there. And now at this point, we're just gonna let that cook for five minutes or so and let the, uh, let the onions kind of cook down, let the vegetables start to come together, let the pan kind of dry up a little bit, get rid of some of that moisture, and then it'll be ready for the chicken stock. Like I said, normally you'll do that in a big pot, but uh, I wanted to be able to show you guys a little bit better what I was doing. Uh, what I have here is I've got a rotisserie chicken and the rotisserie chicken I removed from the bone, and then we used the bones to make our stock. Uh, then the chicken, I just cut through it. You can shred it, you can peel it, however you like it. Uh, you can dice it. Whatever you choose for your, uh, for your tortilla soup is just fine. So we've got some uh, boiling going on in this pan and the, the moisture is coming out, the spices are coming together. I'll add a little bit of salt at this point, start to season it. The tortillas are gonna break down while we're, while we're doing uh, this step. And they'll start to fall apart and that's okay, that's good. Uh, we kind of want that. They're gonna become kind of a binder or a thickener for our soup, uh, as well as those vegetables. Right now it looks like it's gonna have a really nice texture to it. You can go a little bit heavier with the chili powder, a little bit heavier with the cumin if you want to. Uh, that's up to you. Whenever I serve my tortilla soup, I usually like to serve it with uh, some Spanish rice and some chicken. Then you have your different garnishes. Some of the garnishes I like to use are gonna be cheese. Uh, you can use like a queso fresco or a Monterey Jack. Uh, I like the Colby Jack. Gives a, uh, it's kind of one of my family's favorite cheeses. So we use that a lot. We have it on hand often. Uh, you can use avocado, do avocado strips, do avocado diced. Um, that way it has some nice texture. I've seen people add corn and black beans into their uh, tortilla soup. You know, make it your own. This is just a starting point. And this is just how I make mine, how I like it. All right, so those veggies have started to cook down. I'm gonna add in this bay leaf and we're gonna add in the chicken stock. That's eight cups of chicken stock for you. And I'll add some of this chicken. I wanna keep some of it for uh, garnishing my bowls, but I'll add some into this. And so while this comes back up to temperature, it's going to release its flavor as well. I'll add another little pinch of salt, clean up my workstation. All right, 
Now I'm going to transfer this pan back here and I'll show you how I fry my tortilla strips. And I have that set to high. So now I've got another pan here. I've got tortilla strips, uh, corn tortillas cut in half and then cut into little strips. I've got a plate that will, uh, with some paper towels on it and that'll catch the cooked uh, tortilla strips. And I've got a little vegetable oil here. So that's probably about a cup. Now we're gonna wait for that oil to get warm and then we'll just do it a little bit at a time. Now what I have set aside over here on this side is I have a bowl. I have some of that Spanish rice and I have some chicken. So in the bowl, what I'll do is I'll take the rice and I'll set it in there in the bottom. And that way when my soup is done, I can pour that hot soup right over that rice. The hot soup is gonna warm it up and then we'll garnish it with some of that chicken. All right, we can take a strip and see if it's ready to go. It's almost there, I see it bubbling. So let's go ahead. Don't, don't crowd your pan too much, uh, but you can throw a few of them in there. And you wanna fry them up and let them get nice and crispy because this is gonna be a crunchy garnish that's gonna add some texture onto your soup. And immediately whenever they come out of the pan, we're gonna to wanna to season them with salt. Now you can get really fancy with your seasonings and do maybe some salt and some chili pepper, maybe salt, chili pepper, cumin. Those are all flavors that we have inside of our soup. So it'll be natural and it'll complement each other. And when these start turning color, whenever the bubbles slow down and the the tortilla strips start turning golden brown, you'll know that they're ready. You'll hear and see a change in the way that they're cooking. Right now there's a lot of real tiny bubbles and it's going real fast, it's real active. As those bubbles slow down and get larger, you're starting to caramelize the corn on the outside a little bit. And so it, it's the oil's way of telling you that the chips are ready. Pretty, it's a quick process. Once your chips are golden brown, you're gonna remove them from the oil and season them with salt immediately. If you don't season them immediately, what's gonna happen is they're gonna cool off and the salt won't stick. All right, let's check on our tortilla soup over here. We've got a little bit of steam going on. You probably wanna cook this and let it uh, simmer for between 20 and 30 minutes. That way those flavors can really come together. It's up to you if you wanna cover it or not. If you leave it open, then you're gonna concentrate those flavors and the soup is gonna get stronger. If you cover it and let it cook, it's just gonna keep all of that moisture inside. All right, so we can see some bubbles starting to form and we're gonna set a timer and we'll be back in about 15 minutes. All right guys, so it's been about 15 minutes. Uh, the soup has been on, it's been hot. Let's check it out. So let me show you uh, what we've got going on here. Most of the ingredients are sinking down to the bottom. Remember we put those bay leaves in there, so we wanna remove those. I put three, so count them all. If you don't take them out, they can be a choking hazard, so you don't wanna do that. Let's give it a taste and see where we're at on salt. I think it could use a little more salt. All right, let's plate it up. In here, I've got the rice. We're gonna serve that over the top of everything. We'll get three nice scoops. We'll place some chicken on there. That way you can see the chicken. We've got some cilantro. We'll do our chips for a garnish. Do a little bit of height. And lastly, some cheese. We'll do a squeeze of lime on there. And if you wanna make it real pretty, you can uh, drop that cilantro leaf over there. I'm gonna remove it for now. And we'll give this a taste. Make sure I get some of that rice. Now remember, this is hot, smoking, smoking hot. Those chips are still tasty, are still uh, kind of crispy in there. Let's see. Oh man, that's delicious. I hope your family likes this uh, tortilla soup re recipe. If you like this recipe, if you want to learn more, go ahead and give me a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. We'll see you soon. Guys, thanks for watching my cooking videos. I appreciate your support on my channel. Hit subscribe, hit like, and let me know what you want to learn how to cook. We'll see you real soon.